Okay, Mr. Yakima here. That's the Royal Columns behind me. We're about 22, 23 miles outside of Yakima. And in this issue of Yakima is cool, I will not be going up that because that's stupid because I'm old. But for the people that do it, good for them. But parallel to where we are, there's a nice trail. I'm going to take that with my brother who is filming and my dogs here trying to trip me up uh, as we go through a, a Thanksgiving, a beautiful Thanksgiving holiday. We're also going to talk to someone uh, with the Pegasus Project, one of the coolest things here in the valley, and go visit a couple of hot spots in uh, Moxie. So come along. Going to end the hike at about a mile and a half in where this suspension bridge is. You can maybe hear my dog. He does not want to cross it. So we're going to head back. Uh, where the trail goes, we're kind of paralleling uh, the highway up to White Pass although you really can't hear any traffic. Uh, we've seen maybe one or two other groups up here, but it's pretty much all on your own. And uh, we'll get some more shots here, but it hardly any elevation gain. It's just gorgeous, minutes from town. So think about coming out and uh, enjoying your natural scenery, Yakima County. This last summer, I took a road trip with the kids down to Zion National Park uh, in Arizona. And no, we're not at Zion, but for 20 some minutes outside of Yakima with no crowds, beautiful weather, and just some spectacular scenery around here. Uh, you should get off the couch and take a hike. It doesn't have to be in summer. Right, doggies? But anyway, yeah, it is uh, spectacular. I hope you come out here. You'll have the time of your life. So today we're visiting with Janae, is that yes. correct? And Janae, it's been about 10 years. I heard you were just a college kid. You got hired to be the executive director of Pegasus. Yep. What does Pegasus do? So we are um, a PATH International Premier Accredited Center. So we um, offer horseback riding lessons and other equine assisted services to kids and adults with special needs in Yakima. Um, so can be mental or physical diagnosis, anything that is actually a formal diagnosis from a doctor. Um, so we work with very broad variety um, of people and skill levels and abilities. Um, but yeah, that's uh, behind us. We have a therapeutic riding lesson going on right now. We have a few other programs we do. Um, we take our ponies to nursing homes around the valley. Um, we have a high school program that we're doing as well. So Very cool. So mm -hmm. how many people would you say, I know months change, but on an average month, how many people use your facility? So we're, we have about um, 40 to 50 clients a week here and they most of them continue on year round. That is cool. So mm -hmm. let me ask this, when you bring people in here and they may have whatever their disability is, mm -hmm. what type of change do you see when they're in here and they're in mm -hmm. the program? Uh, well, we say the horses are the therapists. We are not the therapists. So just being able to connect with a horse, um, a lot of people might come in you know, with lower self-confidence or um, just being able to connect with the horses is very empowering. I think that's one of my favorite things is just seeing that progression of their confidence and kind of coming out of their shell. It's very empowering to be working with this thousand pound animal and, you know, being able to get it to go where you want it to go and kind of work with it together. So um, also physically, um, you're working on your core strength, your balance, your hand-eye coordination, a lot of people think you're just sitting on the horse and it's doing the work and that's not the case at all. So lots of physical things that they're working on mentally, they're working on multiple step directions. They might be learning some social skills. We'll have um, several people in a class together. So they're kind of with peers or people of similar skill level. Um, so lots of different benefits involved. Fun. Now I know you've had over the years, one of the, one of my favorite fundraisers <laughs> that's held out here. Uh, and do you have like donors and people you work through like medical community and is that how it's funded? So we are a nonprofit. Um, so we rely completely on donations and fundraiser events to keep running. We have a few grants that we do as well, um, but we can't bill in insurance or anything because we're not actually licensed therapists so it's all um, privately funded so um, we've got 
I think four fundraiser events we do throughout the year and then just working on those individual donations. So our community support is really, really important to keeping this going. Well, it's supported because I think we have a cool community and you do such yes. cool work. What is your probably favorite thing or your coolest thing about being the boss lady here? Oh gosh. Um, just, I mean, being able to work in this environment every day, you know, it's hard to be out here and not be happy. Um, we talk all the time with our volunteers, you know, they might be having a bad day and then they get in here and it's hard not to smile and be in a positive mood. So, um, just, I think all that comes with it, being able to work with horses and people every day and no day is the same. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> well, I think it's pretty easy to tell that you're the right person for the job. And I think you're one of the reasons this is such a oh. cool place. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm in Moxie, Washington, and if I'm not mistaken, these two can correct me if I'm wrong, Washington State is the hot capital, I think, of America and maybe the world, and Moxie is the hot capital of Yakima County, and so we're probably in the best bar in all of America right now. And now, who am I talking to? Rob and Steph Valagrop. And, and, and yeah, you should know her name, yeah, so, okay, well, we're just checking, okay, so, yeah, because we have been drinking beer tonight, but this is, it's a fun place, it's a good time, why, why did you open this, you've only had this open, like, what, in the last year or two? Yeah, well, we, okay, we, we already owned the property for five years, but uh, they didn't, we leased it out, so we were landlords, and they didn't want to renew their lease. So we decided we need to step the game up, and uh, the community needed something like this because you know it's five miles from town. Uh, there's a lot of new developments, both to the east and the north. Oh yeah, no, of, it's it, of, it's rocking. Families out here, and, and uh, we just need to clean it up, and we did. We rehab this place. No, so that's great. Yeah, back in the yeah. Day. Well, this is cool, but I have to now ask you both. I'm going to focus on the girls here first, but what's the coolest thing about having a place here in Moxie? That we are part of the local community, and we love being a part of this community. The people are great here. And what about you, big man? Now, now he's not going to brag, but I will. He has like he has he has multiple things going on, but he put he put his money down, put his money where his mouth is. Got a place here in Moxie. What's the coolest thing about Yakima? Well, the coolest thing about being in this business, well, in this what, business what and is, Yakima, is what is watching uh, people have fun and enjoying life. That's what it's to all about. That's yeah. what it's all so about. That's why we did what we did. Well, I think you two. Heart into it. I think you two fall into that category. Now, yeah. give her a big old kiss. Okay, I found this big, tall-looking guy, and he looks important. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you're Kevin Quinn, and you kind of run things out here at Bail Breakers. Uh, yeah, Kevin Quinn. Uh, my wife Megan and I and her younger brother Kevin opened Bail Breaker Brewing Company out here in Moxie, Washington. Okay, well, I think most people understand that Yakima County is the hop capital of the world, and Moxie is the hop capital here in Yakima County. And I would guess that makes Bail Breakers like the Mecca, is that right? Uh, we are the only craft brewery on a commercial hop farm. We're the only brewery that grows all their own hops. And yes, like hundreds of, of brewers from around the world come here in September to pick their hops to use for the next year. So from around the world, this is where everyone comes. Yeah, yeah. So Yakima Valley produces about 75% of the U.S. hops. It's somewhere around like 30% of the world's hops. Um, and so, yeah, brewers from all around the all around the world come here in Yakima to choose their hops uh, to brew with the next year. And now what's the big deal you got going on here tonight? Uh, right now we're supporting our local ski hill, White Pass. Uh, it's a great family ski hill, uh, about an hour away, hour west in the Cascades. And so we're doing a, a fundraiser here for the ski patrol. They're handing out the new lift tickets that they're doing. There's going to be giveaways. Uh, you can buy swag. Um, so speaking of which, I'm, I don't know if we can get this on here, but yeah, if it's, it was an ugly sweater contest. Yes. <laughs> One, two. Oh, okay. Back to the interview. 
<laughs> so anyway, no, it's going on here. You're always supporting the community. And, uh, you know, I can't say anything else except I'm going to go grab myself a beer. Cheers. <laughs> So, as was just mentioned, Bale Breakers is having a little uh, ski party here uh, in honor of White Pass. Uh, we don't have enough uh, snow yet, but we wanted to get out and uh, see all the fun people. And I think I found some fun people here. Watch out. Who is this? Hey, trouble! Jim Harris. We all know <laughs> you be dead by nice. now. <laughs> Jim, what is the coolest it. thing about Yakima besides the me people. and that guy? This guy right here. Oh, that guy, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. Oh, the girls are running away. We're going to go track down some. We'll go find some other ones, though. Oh, okay, I, I just found a couple. I don't know if they've ever met before, but they seem to have hit it off pretty well he's here. He's cute. He's a cute-looking guy. Cute. Now, I got to ask, because we're at the Bale Breakers, you know, free white pass ski function. Who skis best in the family? Uh, oh, Johnny with her new Stokelys. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he yeah. bought me Stokelys. I'm yeah. so much better. Uh, he's been skiing since he was eight years old, and me since I Well, was. that seems like he's a pretty cool husband living in a pretty cool town. Now, besides the Stokelys and you being a good skier, what's the coolest thing about Yakima? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The people. You can't, the people yeah, and where good, we good live. Answer. Where we live. There's, very fortunate to be over here in Eastern Washington, so don't tell any of your friends. Okay, yeah, yeah, so, I will delete so this is. out and put fuzzies so wait, 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 all wait, over your wait, face. Wait, I want to say Yakima sucks, don't move here. <laughs> but we've got the perfect weather. We're like so close to the mountains. We have trails. We can ski. We can, oh my gosh, don't move here. It sucks. It sounds like she's auditioning to be the co-host, but we'll see. So there thank you very much and go find a room. Okay, we have a retro sexy couple here, and I'm gonna get them to put their beers down for a minute. What's the coolest thing about Yakima? White pass. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> what do you have to say? Yakima Country Club. Well, okay, that's pretty cool too. Okay, so I have one of my ski wives here, Diane Harris. She's one of the luckiest women in the world, that's for sure. And your name, sir, is Andy Mayer. If if I seen your name somewhere, are you do you ski? Uh, I'm working on it. Okay, now Andy Mayer is one of the greatest skiers in the country. I mean, uh, he comes from the Mayer clan up at White Pass, and he's made his home here in Yakima. And Yakima is cool. And even though you've skied in, I don't know, probably every corner in the world. Why are you back here? What makes Yakima cool to you, Andy? We just have all the recreational things that I love to do nearby. Within like a four hour radius, we've got the ocean, we've got mountains, we're in a desert, we've got rivers. Pretty much everything you'd ever want to do is somewhere close, and I love that. Well, Andy, that's pretty good for your first interview ever. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good talking to you, Andy. Keep up, keep up the good work. Thank you concludes another episode of Yakima's Cool. I hope you liked it. I hope most of all that you're sharing it with your friends and you're subscribing. And with the holidays coming up, uh, so many people are coming over here. Send these uh, to your friends, your your family, all those type of things, because Yakima is very cool. And I want you to know, even though winter is just about upon us, we are not quite done with these pumpkins. And you'll see what I mean on the next episode. So I hope you tune in and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Mr. Yakima, out.